Hello everyone, myself Patun Leki and I welcome you all to IMS Gate Academy YouTube platform. Many of the students has already started the gate exam preparation for gate 2026 and many will about to start the gate exam preparation. At this point, students are generally confused from which subject they should start the preparation, what should be the order of study of the subjects in the preparation. In this video, I will discuss all those concerns and by the end of this video, you will get a detailed analysis like from which subject you should start, what are the high weightage subjects in mechanical engineering. So let's get started in this video. First of all, we'll talk about why we should focus on high weightage subjects. So you should understand the first point is the maximum return on effort. The effort and time you are giving for that you are getting maximum output. That is what very important point we need to understand. Second, the weightage is almost consistent in every year. If you just analyze the last 10 years or 15 years, you will see the weightage is almost consistent. Right. It will help you to save time because mostly you are giving your effort and time in those subjects which has the highest weightage. So it will save the time also and it will not only save the time, it will help you to boost the confidence as well, right? Because you are preparing for the high weightage subjects and in the interviews, usually the questions will be coming from those high weightage subjects because those high weightage subjects are the most important subjects in the gate exam preparation. So not only you are preparing for the gate exam, you are preparing parallelly with the interview point of view also because we need to prepare some subjects in depth. And those in-depth subjects are high weightage subjects only in gate exam preparation. Right. Now, how I will be able to maximize my score by focusing on high weightage subjects? First of all, you should understand that first I will highlight, I will understand the high weightage subject. What are the high weightage subjects? Then in those subjects, I will not only solve, but also analyze the PYQs. See, just for the sake of solving PYQ, we are not going to solve the problems. Okay, we will solve as well as we will analyze it. Because you should understand in the gate examination, mostly similar kind of PYQs will come. Not same, similar kind of PYQs will come. Now, you will be able to identify that, yes, this question is similar to the question I've prepared or I've solved in my preparation time, only if you have a clear in-depth knowledge. So, 70%, 60%, you will say, always find there are similar kind of PYQs. For that clear analysis is what required of the PYQs during the preparation time, right? And last, you should create a formula sheets for those high weightage subjects. With this formula sheets, you will be able to revise the subjects in minutes actually. It will not take that much time to revise the subject with the help of formula sheet. So it will make the revision very fast actually. You can do your quick revisions using formula sheets. So analyzing PYQ is very, very important. Not just solving the question for, just for the sake of solving, we are solving the questions. No, you have to analyze the PYQ questions. What kind of questions statement they've used, right? What kind of data they're asking? What should be the approach for that particular question? So that is what clear analysis is required in PYQs also. Okay, not just we have to solve the question, but also analyze also. Now, in mechanical engineering, what are the high weightage subjects apart from the mathematics and aptitude? I'm just talking about the technical subjects. From technical subjects, what are the highest weightage subjects that we are going to discuss here? Now, if I talk about the first high weightage subject is production. Almost every year, 15, 16 marks, on an average minimum 15, 16, it will be coming. Now, the topics from which you can expect the questions, chapter casting is there. Specifically questions, numericals are coming from solidification time. Then forming process, most common question is the rolling process. Okay, then metal cutting, orthogonal machining, right? Welding numericals are there, then limit and tolerance numericals are there. These are the topics in this production chapter from which you can expect the numericals, direct numericals. Production is not a, like a theoretical subject. Many students will think, okay, production is a theoretical subject. No, mostly in the gate examination, numericals will be coming. Gate is a numerical oriented question paper, right? They will give you some situation in that they will be giving you some data. That data I need to analyze and then finally conclude with some final answer. So it's all about the numericals, right? We need to know the concept in depth. Then only I will be able to analyze the given situation. 
Okay, so this is all about production. Second, we have is basic thermodynamics and applied thermodynamics. Now, heat and work calculations are there. Most common topic. Every year question is coming from this topic. Then we have second law of thermodynamics. Calvin Planck's statements, right? Clausius statement, it is there. Then entropy. Always you will find a numerical from the entropy topic. Rankine cycle, it is there. VCRS, psychometry. These are the topics from which you can expect the numericals. So these are like hot topics. Every year questions are coming from this one. Sometimes they will ask question from entropy. Sometimes they will ask from heat and work. Sometimes they will be asking question from Rankine. Sometimes they will be asking from VCRS. And sometimes it is possible they can ask question from Rankine and VCRS both. Same goes with psychometry part also. These are the very, very important topics of this basic and applied thermodynamics subject. So that is subject number two. First was production. Second was basic thermodynamics and applied thermodynamics. Third, theory of machine. First, mechanism. And the most common question every year they are asking is based on angular velocity ratio. Then gate train, specifically epicyclic gate train. Then flywheel and vibration. Vibration entire topic is very important. Whether it is undamped vibration, forced vibration, forced damped vibration, forced undamped vibration, all topics, logarithmic decrement, all topics of vibration are equally important. And every year question is coming from vibration also. So this is the subject number third in mechanical engineering. Coming to subject number four, fluid mechanics. Hydrostatic force calculation, either on the plane surface or on the curved surfaces, right? Then fluid kinematics. Fluid kinematics, they can ask question from equation of streamline. They can ask question based on continuity equation, stream function, potential function, velocity and acceleration calculations, venturi meter, based application of Bernoulli's equation, laminar flow, head loss basically, velocity profile, shear stress profile, boundary layer theory, specifically for mechanical boundary layer theory is the most important one, displacement thickness, momentum thickness, energy thickness, drag calculations, Blossius result, specifically in boundary layer theory, Blossius results are very, very important. Direct questions are coming from Blossius results, right? So these are the important topics in subject number four, that is fluid mechanics. Coming to subject number five, that is strength of material. Again, very, very important subject. Questions on stress strain, principal stress strains, SFD, BMD, shear force diagram, bending moment diagram, deflection, and torsion. These are the four topics from which you can expect the numericals in strength of material subject. This is also a most important subject, subject number five. Then subject number six, industrial engineering. Questions, direct numericals on inventory, parts and CPM, queuing theory. These are the top three topics from which you can directly expect the questions from industrial engineering subject. So top six high weightage subjects we discussed, not only the subject as well as we discussed the topics also. So if you prepare these subjects, please make sure these topics are crystal clear to you. You should prepare in such a way that all topics are crystal clear to you so that any question comes, you will be able to solve it, right? Now, there is an important announcement here regarding a telegram channel. What you will be getting if you join a telegram channel there, you will be getting the YT lectures, YouTube lectures, PDF, apart from latest job notifications you will be getting and the daily quizzes which will help you in your gate exam preparation right we started gate 2026 and gate 2027 live program live class batches we have started the features of the gate live online program is 800 hours of session is there theory and exercise books you will be getting gate question bank you will be getting apart from that 12 mentorship sessions where you can directly connect with the faculty and you can discuss whatever challenges you are getting in your preparation online test series so if you are interested in the live online program you can directly book a free counseling session just by directly calling on this numbers you just call on this number and book a free counseling session there okay and you can attend free live to demo sessions also so directly call on this number to book a free counseling session i hope everyone got a clear information about the gate live online program thank you so much